So yeah, so this is a strategy for preparation uh, for any student. This is what you do first. Step number one, go to find out your dash and dash. your strength and weaknesses. Now the question is that like like among a broader set, so what is what should be my strength and weaknesses? What should be my strengths and weaknesses? That's a that's a good question to ask actually. Like there is there a list? Yes, there is a list. Where can I find it? Here. So you go and search Tinta MSc statistics that brochure, and every that's why we have given it over here. And you go to level one or level two. So when you go to level one, you will see that. So let me write keep here. Is the link? I will paste it here and when you go here you will see that we have these topics so we have mathematics one and programming in that we have pre-calculus okay so level one topics we have pre-calculus and we have programming and logic pre-calculus and pre calculus programming and logic and similarly Level two has similar such concepts like uh, real analysis, linear algebra. Okay. Then what should you do? Then what should you do? The process is very simple. Then you go and so you fix your Okay, so first is also you have fixed uh, before you go you should fix your goals in our case it's cmi mscds isi mstat and iit jam ms okay these three so then you fix your goals and fix a single goal let's say for example cmi or cmi mscds and then go ahead and find a past paper okay go ahead and find a past year paper simple and then you solve it solve the past year paper how let's say take a week time without time bound without without any time bound then what when you solve this paper, you will understand. So you solve this, like solve this paper with your, then you will understand that I could, like that you could solve X number of questions. And could not solve Y number of questions. Then what do you do? Then you check, then you observe which of those, observe the topics from 3D and 3E, from 3, from steps 3D or 3E, like the topics that you have checked out from here. Okay. You observe which topics you are good at. And not good at from this x and y number of questions that will give you strength and weaknesses okay now once you're done with your strength and weaknesses what's the next step once you're done with the strength and weaknesses so what do you do now chinta already has the entire course for you course ready for you entire course ready for you Okay, all the topics. So what do you do? You divide your preparation into two into two.
two halves strength of and weakness of so what do you do in the strength of in the strength of so what do you do in the strength of simple what do you do okay so first of all how do you measure your progress this is very important how do you measure your progress in the course this is something of i cannot tell you about all the other courses out there but this is how we are built with the philosophy you measure your progress so you measured your standing where you are standing right now by solving the past papers right simply you measure your progress by counting by observing how many assignment questions can you solve this is your measure of progress this is a measuring stick okay so whenever let's say you will come to me i will say uh, ananya like what do you how many problems could you solve in these assignments okay so this is very important now how many problems we have here around 1500 problems for level 2 and around 800 problems for level 1 okay so uh, we expect yeah so that's the whole idea so that's very important okay Now what do you do in the strength? What do you do in the strength of? So you have understood these are the topics of my strength, these are the topics of my weakness. Let's say you understand that my strength is in linear algebra, this three. And my weakness is in linear algebra, real analysis. Okay, let's say you understand this. So what do you do? So you in the strength, let's say your strength is linear algebra. That means you can solve some questions out there you have a foundation out there so you do not go and watch the recordings out there what you do again your measuring stick is your question solving in the assignments so you directly start solving the assignment problems if you cannot solve then go to problem solving which the all assignment solutions that you have in the notes and if you cannot understand in case you do not understand a topic you can watch the recordings or read the reading materials and ask us in the live, live doubt in class this is the step you should follow. So you should follow from in the strength you are following assignments, then solutions, then theory. Okay. And what to do in the weakness half? In the weakness half, it's just the opposite. You know that you are not good at it. So do not go and solve the problems. You go to the theory recorded classes first. Okay. Then you go to the problem solving classes and then you solve the assignments in case of conceptual error or conceptual understanding or you know doubts attend live doubt training classes okay simple this is a strategy Okay, and once you're so your goal is to solve all these problems, sir. that's it. And once you're confident in it, you can, after you're done with this, solve the mock tests. Now, many students come to us saying that, Oh, what, what should I do if I am done with the mock test? The answer is simple solve the past papers with time because. The past papers are actually what 
the real true knowledge uh, e, like the past before is with time so let's say you will say okay what if i already solved the problems so you can say that okay but what if i have already solved past years pyqs then so here here now at this point of time so at this point your knowledge is intact knowledge is done knowledge base is created the next step is competing with the time first knowledge and then time okay two dimensions are there very important first knowledge and then time so one is you're done with the knowledge the next step is competing with the time and then you solve the problems with time now you can solve it let's say you can say iit i am trying to solve iit questions under three year, uh, years hours so you can say okay i have already solved it like in iit or isi or cmi you will find similar problems okay your goal is to uh, solve it under time so what do you do if you already solved it if you have already solved it then you should solve it in lesser time for example isi is actually 2 hours you solve it under 1.5 hours cmi is actually 2 hours you can again solve it under 1.5 hours iit you can solve it under 2 hours okay that's why we have all our assignment contains in 2022 or 2023 all the others we will we have solved it online we are solving it online but we will not give it in the assignments so that you can practice those as test problems yourself under time you can also keep the new 2023 onwards as test problems okay so these 17 steps are enough and if you and okay so one important thing is that one important thing is that you will often feel lost in the way because we i have dealt with thousands of people i know what exactly they go through in in the lost feel in the way that am i progressing in this then you again join in this sunday class and i will help you out the routing class is different. Routing class is for the academic thing, for career thing, for counseling. This Sunday class is what you need. Okay, guys. And I will help you out. Sounds good. Sounds good, Ananya and others. Yes. Yes, I'm good. Uh, just one more thing. These mock tests will be time based, right? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. 